So everybody wants to control their inverter, especially for the RV via remote control, because you don't always want the inverter running all the time and then you shut the inverter off, you run outside, open the cabinet in the middle of the night, turn the inverter off. So what I'm trying to do is use some of these little remote controls I just got off eBay. And they were pretty cheap. Um, there's a four channel one over here. I've got some crocodile clips so there's no soldering that needs to be done at all. And also got another little one over here, little single channel unit that I'm going to be trying out and installing in my motorhome so that if I go to sleep at night and I don't want to get out of bed and turn the inverter off I can just click the remote control button I'll show you how to do this in a second so guys here's a nice little hack that I was uh, thinking about while lying in the bed watching TV I thought well why do I have to get outside to go and turn this inverter off? It's under the, under the inside of the RV over here. And so I got a little remote control, uh, two types that I like. This is the one with the first channel, just a one button unit. Uh, what they don't tell you in the manual is to put that little jumper on closest to that little switch over there. You gotta push that little, that little white switch at the bottom to uh, program the remote. And so all I got was these two, the, the normally open contacts on the relay I took a crocodile clip, I cut it in half, I jumped it, just connected it straight across the switch. That's the power switch over there. And the positive and negative, because this is a 12 volt system, I just put them straight clips onto the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Obviously, the switch has got to be in the off position, otherwise if it's on position, there's no way this thing can break the circuit. So you put it in, put it in that position. And you can push the button once for the inverter to come on. 120 volts out, click it again, and it's off. How's that for simple? So here's a little vacuum cleaner I got just to show you how it works. It's plugged into the inverter, little 120 volt AC. Cool, eh? This is how I make these little connections, these little skinny wires, like that, and then I push it in to the terminal, like that, so that at least the plastic is crimping onto the uh, the wire. They're not just the wire by itself, but also the plastic. Let me show you. There you go. It's all closed up, nice and tidy. And also, the wife wanted to know if I can, she could run the hairdryer off that little 1000 watt inverter. So this is a little Sunbeam 1500 watt inverter, so it says, or hairdryer. So it's got a little on button over there. And let me see. Hit the remote. There you go. Hit the remote again. Off. So the question is now, how do I get my little remote control system to work? Well, first of all, this is another, yet another remote control. This one, you need to put the little jumper to the end of it. It'll move it over to make it latch because you want it latching style. And this is a little DC to DC converter over here. I found this on eBay. I typed in 48 to 12 volt DC to DC converter. It says 20 to 55, but on the specs, they say... Uh, to 60 something volts. I've got a little power supply over here so I can up that voltage. Let's see 60 volts still doing just fine probably probably will do fine up to 60 volts battery and so What this is doing is so you would connect this red and black wire now to your 12 or 24 volt I mean not your 12 volt your 24 volt or 48 volt battery Like I showed in the in the video before right and so this is just goes in between now to the power to this little remote control module so this is taking uh, 20 to 55 volts in or 60 volts in and putting out 12 volts for this little remote control module so now we have a universal remote control module that we can use on a 24 to 48 volt unit this was very interesting. 